Hello friends, welcome to Pioneer of Success. We are starting a short training course on unsteady heat conduction equation. This is going to be an end-to-end -end learning where we will be talking about various aspects of unsteady heat conduction equation. In this particular training course, we will be covering 1D and 2D solution and we will exclude 3D solution for the time being. In most of the mathematical and physical scenario, if we put appropriate assumptions, then solution in 1D and 2D become sufficient to understand the physical phenomenon or to model the particular physical phenomenon. And that is why we are focused on 1D and 2D for this initial level training course. Before I move on with the contents of this particular training course, I would like to request you to write to me if you have any suggestion, any query, you can write to me in this email ID. Also, I would like to request you to subscribe to this channel because we are uploading videos on various things that relates to engineering and research. And if you belong to engineering and research category, then I hope those videos will be helpful. Further, this will be an opportunity to interact and to learn together. We now move on with the contents of the training course. For the learning of this unsteady heat conduction equation, I have divided the training into several segments. And in each segment, we will be uploading more than one video. There will be multiple videos and those videos will help us in learning this concept of unsteady heat conduction equation in a systematic and better way. Initially, we'll talk about, we'll talk about detailed physical significance of heat equation or heat conduction equation for this particular case. We have already talked about the physical significance in the COMSOL series. However, as this particular series is exclusively for unsteady heat conduction equation, we will be more detailed about the physical significance. Then we will cover history of Fourier analytical theory of heat because in heat transfer we all know uh, the scientist Fourier invented the basic analytical solution and we will talk about that history and then We'll talk about the analytical solution. We'll talk about the mathematical nature of heat conduction equation. So in this particular section, we'll talk about partial differential equations. What is a partial differential equations? What is what are the nature of different partial differential equation? And in which category we can actually categorize our unsteady heat conduction equation? So this particular section will give you some idea about partial differential equation. So one more thing, whenever I am talking that this will give you some idea, you might be aware of all those things. However, we will cover everything because there might be some viewers who will not know about partial differential equation. That's why there will be detailed videos in this particular training course. If you have all, if you have sufficient knowledge about this particular section, you can skip that particular videos. Then uh, we'll be talking about analytical solution in 2D and 1D. So initially we'll learn about the history of Fourier theory of analytical solution or heat. Then we'll be going to the detailed analytical solution in both 1D and 2D. So in this particular section, we'll understand the equation We'll understand the importance of the equation along with the boundary condition and we can actually visualize how heat will be flown for different set of boundary conditions. And we'll be talking about realistic scenario. We'll not be talking about hypothetical conditions or hypothetical boundary conditions. Rather, we'll be employing situations which are more real where we can actually implement real solution. So this is the ultimate concept and then we'll be talking about various numerical schemes and stability analysis. So numerical solutions are very much important because in most of the cases 
you may not have any analytical solutions and in those cases numerical solutions are mandatory because see uh, we are engineers or researchers we need a solution for a particular problem so sometimes we don't bother about analytical solution we straight away go for numerical solution if it works and if it gives us if it gives us the result so these things are very important it will be consisting of more videos it may have seven to eight videos because we'll be covering covering different schemes also we'll be giving a comparison among all the schemes and we'll do a stability analysis then there will be hands-on session on coding so we'll we'll we would like to learn about those numerical schemes and we would like to code it i will be using either matlab or python or both for this coding so there will be a detailed session on this there will be multiple videos on this hands-on session also and then we'll come to discussion section so once we learn together then we will invite you to comment on those videos and based on the comments we will be uploading several videos to resolve those queries so this is how this particular training will go it will be continuing for next three months and i hope those videos will be helpful to you if it is so i request you to subscribe to us to motivate us to work on more videos and yeah we will be continuing with the plans as i have mentioned here so initial thing will be physical significance so see you in the next video thank you very much